Let's dive in to the giant pyrosome. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do, and make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. The giant pyrosome doesn't even look alive and is definitely one of the weirdest things in the ocean. This animal is what is called a tunicate, or in this case, a colonial tunicate, which means that this is not just one animal. It is made out of several thousand genetically identical organisms known as zoids. If you've been on the channel for a while, then you would know that I've talked about a couple other things that are made out of zoids as well, like the Portuguese man of war or the giant siphonophore, which I talked about in my last video. Each zoid is always filtering water all day in an attempt to gather food, and they can also excrete waste. These giants can grow to colonies of 60 feet long, and some of them are so thick that a person could fit inside them. These animals have been known to make use of bioluminescence, and are supposedly very gorgeous to see if you are lucky enough to witness one glowing. These animals are able to regenerate if part of the colony is lost or broken off, and technically speaking, these animals are basically immortal. As long as one or more of the individual zoids remains, then they continue to live because they can clone themselves through asexual budding. These animals can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Therefore, if no other pyrosomes are present, they can clone themselves to grow and reproduce that way, or if another one is present, they engage in sexual reproduction. These animals are filter feeders and mainly consume plankton, but they also have predators, lobsters and sea turtles. In fact, sometimes predators like lobsters will catch a ride on these giants and feed on them while they are hanging on. Sounds pretty terrifying if you were a pyrosome. The pyrosome swims to the surface at nighttime to catch plankton and during the daytime it is found in deeper waters. Thank you all for watching and next time on All Things Marine.